Welcome everybody, let's take a look at the stock market. These are the S&P 500 futures for December, which is really the current contract being traded. Um, we're looking at the weekly chart. Now I always talk to my members and encourage them to look at multiple time frames. So we're gonna look at the weekly, the daily, and the trade of the day. For the hourly chart and the cycles on the hourly chart, I updated them yesterday and today, boy, did they make good. So for your member, Make sure you get on the Discord server, you look at the streaming charts because the hourly chart has the new cycles on there, okay? And make sure you stay up to date by looking at the messages that are in the Discord server. Okay, that was a members only Discord server. If you're interested in becoming a member, hang around to the end of the video and I'll show you how to become a member. Okay, so let's get started with this video. Why is it important to look at multiple time frames? Well, today um, is gonna be a really good lesson on why we wanna do that. So here we are looking at the weekly chart. And we can see that this little cycle right here, for those that, that, know, that don't know about cycle analysis, um, this is where the market tends to come down. Okay, cycle analysis is a, just a type of analysis that can be done, and I've been doing this for many, many years now. And the, this week, October 29th, is you know an estimated cycle low. Well, my goodness, did it play out or not? Check this out. Okay, but the important thing I want you to notice today on this weekly chart is here's the 50 week moving average 4209 okay and look where the price is right now 4191 so today uh, it's about 9 plus 8 about 17 points below the 15 uh, week moving average it's kind of becoming a big deal a little bit more than this and it's going to be a really big deal right now it's you know you know see how over here it it, it um it broke below it for like one, two, three, four weeks in a row back here. It got below this blue line. Okay, you can see a couple of these candlesticks got pretty far down there below it, right? So we're waiting to see. This is, fifth. you know, why am I mentioning this? Because the 50 week moving average and 50 simple moving average on a lot of charts is a big deal. It's often support, All right? Well, we can see it's kind of broken below this today and it's shown up here on the weekly chart. So that's why we look at multiple time frames. Because when we see a, a, a big, the, what I think is the beginnings of a breakdown here, okay, and this could bounce. You know, we, we can see that the weekly chart here on the stochastic momentum index has gotten below the bottom line. It's sitting around 63. Okay, negative 63, sorry. And we can see the MACD is nice and wide. So you know this could get down and do a little and do do the bounce as we come up into winter time here, and then this would you know this would kind of react slowly, and then I think we would see something probably going into the new year you know going down like this you know I'm over exaggerating here on this this chart it would probably be more like up like this and then back down like that right, and then this would do this and then fall below the line, right the MACD would might. It might get a little below it, come up because it's slow reacting and fall below it maybe out here, February, something like that. So I'm not really sure. That's that's the most likely scenario. But if this gets hot and heavy, because remember, we got some big changes that have happened. We got two wars going on. We got super inflation in the United States, pretty much all over the world. In the U.S., we've got you know a, basically a border invasion going on with lots of, uh, they say that at least 1,200 terrorists have crossed the border. I think we get like two or three million people have crossed the border illegally in the last since since uh, the decrepit old senile man is in, uh, pretending to be a president sitting in the White House. So his open border policy had a lot of terrorists cross the border. Okay, I'm not trying to make this in a political political video. I'm just trying to trying to lay out that there's a lot of pressure in the world, and it's starting. To, I believe it's starting to have an effect on the market. Okay, the two wars, the one in between Russia and, and Ukraine, and then of course. But, now between uh, Is Israel and Hamas, which is really against Iran. Okay, uh, Turkey today had a massive, a pretty, a pretty decent breakdown in their market. Now it's not a huge stock market, the Turkish market, but still, you know, for the Middle East it is. Okay, and they hit a couple circuit breakers today, so that's kind of a big deal for them, and that's happened before. Here in the U.S., we haven't had circuit breakers in a while because they 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 control the markets nowadays. You know, they're all about control, Federal Reserve and Black and uh, BlackRock control everything nowadays, even though they don't talk about it publicly. That's what's happening behind the scenes. 
But anyway, this is a bit bit of a breakdown here below the 50 week moving average. So now we really got to pay attention to this. More than likely, this is going to slow down in the next few days or the week. There could be one more week in this and then it'll bounce. OK, but we're not out of the woods yet. To me, it doesn't really matter. I'll, I'll, I'll trade short or long. I, I trade products. Short or long makes no difference. I mostly trade futures, so I don't really care. But um, just be aware of that, that this may not be over. OK, so let's take a look at the daily. All right, this is a daily chart, and I know it's kind of it's kind of magnified and big, and I'll, I'll zoom out here in a little bit. But I want you to pay attention to the universe indicator. Look at this right here, guys. Guys and gals starting to go up, right? So the universe indicator will often um, forecast what's going to happen in the market, right? So we see a little bit of energy coming into the market. It's not strong. It's just a minimal amount of, I shouldn't say the market. It's not really a market-related indicator. This has nothing to do with markets. This is more, this is just, <coughs> excuse me, this is kind of super deep subject matter that I'm not going to dive into. But this is about uh, plasma flow and ions and, you know, very deep subject matter. But um, this, it, you know, it's it's just has a small increase. So the, the amount of increase is a, is a, or amount of change. And even the rate of change, well, I won't get into that right now, but the change from one day to the next, this is a daily indicator, is a big deal. So the change has been small, which is slightly suggesting that the market is going to bounce. That's what this is what I'm getting down to. Okay. Now, sometimes the market will move inverse to this energy flow, but this year, like so far, it hasn't. The energy flow and the market have been moving together. Not perfectly, but you know, pretty well. So anyway, I just wanted to mention this because this indicator has been you know, pretty decent with um, the data coming in and me reading it and, and me fine tuning my technique to understand how this applies to the world, including the markets. Okay, So I'm just saying that there could be a stall consolidation in here and price going up. That's what this is kind of hinting at, though it's not a very strong indication. It is just very, very subtly hinting at that. Now, that may not happen with all the craziness going on in the world right now. Right. This this influence may not be enough to overcome things like, hey, we're about to go into Armageddon because Israel and Hamas and Iran are going to, you know, and America has been dragged into this thing and whatever, you know, you know, the deal. OK, um, so that's that. That's the big thing. The other thing is you can see that on the MACD here, let me zoom out, because now that we've talked about the universe indicator, I'm going to zoom out here a little bit. See if I get this to play nice and zoom out. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Gosh, it. This is a little bit too much to one side. I'm going to, I can't, I can't get it to work. So, what I'm going to have to do is, I'm going to go in here, hit the time axis, and we'll bump this up to 50. There we go. A little better. All right. So, if we take a look at the MACD here over a long period, right? This is, going away a long ways back right february last year all the way to now october um you can see the macd is well below the zero line look at the zero line on the daily i mean it's way down here i mean this thing is well below zero down here at negative 46 and look at it it's got a big old mouth on it like it wants to go even deeper okay so that's that's a pretty big deal. I think long run, long term, this is going to play out. This, this is going to have an impact on the market. I think we're going to get this bounce. Okay, I'm not sure how high it's going to be, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. We're going to get this bounce through the winter. It may not just be like that, right? You know how this guy's raggedy, raggedy, boom, boom, high. Oh, what are we doing? Uh, then eventually down that way, going out into the new year, okay? So, but for right now, you know, just looking at the data that's in front of us, this number today is negative 72 on the SMI. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this one, like right here. Now, you know what? That's not a very good one. We'll go to this one. This was negative negative 78. I'm looking at this this inside this yellow circle, so keep an eye on that. Okay, so right there is 70, negative 78. This one over here was negative 
62 looks like as good as it got and right now we're at 72 so you know i don't think there's a whole lot whole lot left in this at least for, for short-term kind of fast reacting um indicator going on you know i don't think there's a lot left i think this market's going to kind of run out of steam going down at some point in the next week okay but this is like just this thing is just like it looks like it wants to go off a cliff this is suggesting the market's going to cool off as far as the decline goes. I shouldn't say cool off, but the decline, the fire sale here is going to kind of uh, start to wane and then the market will start coming up. That's kind of what this is suggesting. This is saying, forget about it. We're going to, the bottom's going to drop out. We're going to Davy Jones's locker down at the bottom of the sea. And it could happen. I mean, that could happen. I mean, 4114 could still happen here. There's some intermediate stuff like there's support. There's one here at like, 4174 I mentioned that to the members I think there's another one yeah 4174 4170 so that that could happen too but we're almost there right now so I'm I'm thinking this 4114 eh, it could happen all right so that's my take on the daily let's look at the trade of the day all right so here we are on the five minute chart last night you know as I mentioned at the beginning of this video I, I updated the um hourly chart and mentioned to the members in the on the Discord server where all the member services take place on the dis, Discord server. And I told him, I said, you know, hey, it, you know, it looks like there might be a cycle low around 8 a.m. Um, Texas time. And I put that on the chart and they can see it. Now I ask you, what is this? Eight o'clock in the morning? What happened here? <laughs> I mean, you know, look at this. This says 8, 10 a.m. 8, 10 a.m., the market took a dive all the way to 9. So between 8 o'clock in the morning and 9 o'clock in the morning, the market took, in this one hour, you know, guys, I'm not considering blow smoke on people's backside and say it's always that accurate, but that was a pretty amazing call. And it absolutely, the cycle was spot on within 60-minute time frame. Now, that's what we call making some serious bank. Yeah, a lot of happy members right now. So that's obviously the trade of the day, which lined up with last night's um, update on the hourly chart. Yeah, it's on the. I'm showing the five minute chart, okay. But just you know, because this is the the best trade of the day right here, shows up really well on the five minute chart right here. Okay, you can already see it that here on the five minute chart, it got below the simple moving averages. Okay, this thing was already well, already took a dive by the time we got here to this time, and the MACD was beginning to cross over the zero line. Oh yeah, baby. Plus, we had a, a pretty good feel for the hourly chart that we were going to get a, a, a drop at this particular hour, and it happened. Bango. And there was also another cycle low that I kept on the chart at 1, 1, I mean 1 p.m. That's 1,300 hours. Look at this. What do you know? Bam. Right on time. Two cycle lows. Bing, bang. And both of those are on the charts. And no, I don't show the hourly chart and the cycles to the general public because you got to be a paying member. Okay, those are the trades of the day right there. Really awesome. All right, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you want to become a member, there's a link in the description right below this video. Just make sure you read the description very carefully so you don't have any problems joining. Okay, when you click on, it's gonna bring you over to the get us, this get us server. This is the Discord server. Okay, you're gonna click on server shop and it's gonna take you to this page. There it is, $7.99. You clicky clicky subscribe. All right, super simple. Listen, you saw the streaming chart today, the five minute chart. There's also 15 minute and one hour streaming charts that the members get. Okay, I'm just describing to you some of the services that you get for the $7.99. I have members right now, at least several times a week, you know, some of them post their profits, some don't. It, it's not a requirement, you know, right? People do what they want to do on, as members. But, I, you know, I have members that make anywhere from $100 to $300 a day, almost every day. They have very realistic goals. They don't get in a hurry. They don't do these all in crazy trades. They probably have fairly small retail accounts and they're still making $100 to $300 a day. Okay, so they don't think about the $7.99 because they already know it's paid for for a lifetime <laughs> with the profits they're making. And I honestly believe that if you're patient and come in and just spend a month learning the how to, you know, why watching the videos every day, learning the cycles on the hourly chart, and watching the five minute chart, understanding how to look at cycles on the weekly and the daily charts as well. And just be patient you're going to start making money that's my opinion right that's my opinion because there's members doing that already it really requires patience and discipline 
know, this isn't gambling. This is trading. Big difference. So that's one of the things you get is the, is the streaming charts, like I showed you on the trade of the day, right? The five minute, the 15 minute, the one hour. Okay. Also, that get us plus indicator that shows when to make the trades, that comes in here as an alert to the SP 500 alerts channel. So, what members are doing, they just right click on this alerts channel in the Discord server and they click notifications and they're alerted. Most people have mobile app, you know, they're using Discord mobile app. You download the Discord on your mobile phone. If you're on an iPhone or on an Android, just go to, to the download, you know, where you download your apps and download Discord, Discord uh, app onto your phone. If you're on a desktop, they have a they have a version for that as well. That's one I use. Okay, so all the streaming charts alerts come into here. There's also alerts coming for gold and crude oil. Now these don't have streaming charts, just S&P 500, but but alerts do come in for gold and crude if you want to trade those products. The top 30 stocks for the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq go into this channel, so that's happening all day long right there. Occasionally we get some daily only alerts. This be like people that want to do swing trades. Once in a while we'll get a, a one or two stock symbols in there. You can see right now these are all lit up. Well, they were at the time I took the screenshot. So those, those little marks there uh, means alerts have come in. All right. If you become a member or you already are a member and you want the nightly emails, just drop your email into the emails only channel. And then every night, five days a week, you'll get a S, uh, an email with the S&P 500 chart and about a few sentences to a paragraph of my opinion about what I think the market's going to do, okay? Really nice email, super simple email, goes out every night. People find it very, very helpful. Okay, in the Premium Symbols channel, this is where I post the same logic that the Get Us Plus indicator that we see on the streaming charts like we saw earlier in this video to help time the trades. I use that same logic at the end of each day to go out and get symbols. So there's future symbols in this channel. There's options symbols, right? Stocks that are optionable are in this channel. Sometimes there'll be industries in there. There might even be sometimes a file in there. For, these are files. You'll see they're CSV files. You might even see a file in there sometimes for shorts. Those would be symbols that look like they're getting ready to be, you know, like uh, they're looking good for a possible short, short side trade. So that's a pretty helpful tra channel for those that are maybe just can't watch, you know, or don't want to trade S&P 500. Right, you might be looking at the premium symbols each night. All right, and then every night, uh, like the video I'm doing right now, I post that link to the video in the Get Us Only post. That's only I can go into this, only I can post in there. But everybody can, all the members can see this channel. They just can't, you know, they can't do anything in there, but but just look at the channel. And then the video link is posted in there, and people watch the video, just like you're. Well, they're going to be watching this one. Okay, and you can see some other channels in there. There's some uh, member chat and there's kind of general S&P 500 chat and occasionally I'll do fixed income if there's bonds or stuff like that. I do trade some corporate bonds sometimes. I'll put that in there. And uh, there's a solar activity channel. You might find that interesting. Okay, so all these channels on this server, Discord server, every single one of them, all these channels are members only. So when you come onto the, onto the server, if you're not a paying member, you're not going to be able to get into any channel. Only way you can get into is general. So if you have any questions, just post your message in there and I'll try to pick it up. Okay, but I already showed you how to join earlier, right? All right, kind of a long video today, but, it's, but, but there was a big move in the market. Want to make sure everybody was up to date, especially for the members. Okay, happy trading everybody. God bless everybody. We'll talk to you all real soon again next time.